here I have a whole sink full of red water. I colored it with food coloring. Looks like it might be a soft drink, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. But the reason I did that was that you could see that when I pull a, this jar up so that the, it's way above the surface of the water. There's, here's the surface of the water down here and it's what? Six inches higher? And the water doesn't come yeah. out. Why? H have you I ever been wondering. in an office where, where people come up and take a drink and then they, and you see there's a tank on top and it bubbles? Yeah. Okay, well that... I, I've seen it. Yeah, and uh, there also, another version of it is uh, a chicken drinking fountain or for dogs. If you get a container of water and you fill it all the way to the top with, with water and then turn it upside down but keep the mouth of it under the water like this, air can't get in down there to push down on top of the water. So you can raise it... Now remember, it's about 34 feet. You could have a big column of water here because the air pressure pushing down on the surface of the water here keeps the water up. Now I'll raise it just a little bit as though somebody were taking a drink from the fountain. Remember what happens when they take a drink? Yeah, what? like air goes in and these bubbles come yeah, up. Yeah, bubbles like what? Yeah. Like that, right? Yeah. yeah. So as you take, as you let air in, water comes out. And if you, this were a chicken drinking fountain, as the chickens took more and more of the water away, as soon as the water level gets below the mouth of the thing, more water will come out. Now, you don't need to do it in a jar like this. It also works with a, with a glass. In fact, here, what? What you do is you put the glass underneath like this, mm -hmm. get it all full, and then when you turn it up, you can try that on your friends and have them say, you see, the water goes up six inches above the surface. Here, you try it. Okay. You better take your, pull your little sleeves up so you don't get them all wet. Okay, okay there are glasses on it. Just pick it up straight up there. Okay. Here, try this hand over here. Like that. Okay, pull it straight up. Hey. Why, why is it going down? Come on, Eugene. Turn it over here like that and pull it straight up. Okay. The water's supposed to stay up there. I know. I did the same way you did it on, to the... Not quite. What do you mean? Well, pull it up again. Okay. If the water goes out, what must be getting in on top? Air, like you told me before. Right. If air is air getting in there in. somehow. Yeah. Well, here's how I played this little trick on you. What I did was to take a, a nail and put it in a candle flame, holding mm -hmm. the nail in a pair of pliers. And then I stuck the nail in right there and made a little hole. So that when I did it, I put my thumb over the hole. And when I went underneath like this, I held my thumb on the hole. When you did it, you didn't know there was a hole in it, so you held it like that, right? Yeah. And air came in the hole, and down it went. So this time you try it, keep your finger over the hole. Okay. So that's the way you do it. You got your finger over the hole now? Okay, now pick it straight up. Aha! But when your friends do it, take your finger off the hole once. When your friends do it, down it'll go. Now this, this... Pretty tri tricky, pretty eh? Pretty tricky, and you can get your dad to help you because, you, you know, you're going to get a hot nail and, yeah. and put it through there so you don't want to burn yourself. Uh, this particular glass is also sold in a magic shop or in joke stores, and it's called a dribble glass. You know what dribble is? Yeah. You know when water dribbles out? And here's the reason why it's called a dribble glass. I will put it underneath the water with my thumb over the hole. And you mm -hmm. say to your friend, you got a good friend you'd like to play a trick on? Yeah. Who? Um, his name is, uh, what's his name? Donnie Chow. Donnie Chow? Okay. You say, yeah, Donnie, would you like a drink of water? And he says, well, sure. Or you could even have it colored with this and he'll think mm -hmm. it's some kind of a soft drink. And you say, okay, here, Donnie. And you hand it to him like that. 